There are stunning new criminal allegations from the RCMP tonight that reach right into the Prime Minister's office. In court documents made public today, the Mounties allege the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff, Nigel Wright, broke the law. The allegations, which have not been proven in court, are all connected to that $90,000 payment to Mike Duffy. And Duffy isn't spared either. In the documents, the RCMP says it has reasonable grounds to believe that both Wright and Duffy committed bribery, fraud, and breach of trust. The Mounties make clear for the first time that they believe the Prime Minister's office was more deeply involved in the Wright-Duffy deal than previously alleged, and that the PMO, in turn, set out to have the Senate report into Duffy's expenses changed. It doesn't end there. Our coverage begins tonight with our senior correspondent, Terry Malefsky, who's in Ottawa. Terry. Well, Peter, this affidavit is a serious blow to the government, but not a fatal one. It does allege that the Prime Minister's office plotted to bribe Senator Mike Duffy to protect his seat, pay his bills, and mislead Canadians about it. But it does not say the Prime Minister knew those details. Can he tell Canadians what he knew? Here, here. Sole responsibility for these actions rests with Mr. Wright and with Mr. Duffy. In another grilling by Tom Mulcair, Stephen Harper insisted he's in the clear. But the RCMP affidavit quotes an email by Nigel Wright, the former chief of staff who paid Duffy's $90,000 bill, telling PMO staff that the PM knows, in broad terms only, that I personally assisted Duffy when I was getting him to agree to repay the expenses. Was Mr. Wright involved? Was the affidavit also alleges the Prime Minister's senior staff and his senior senators tried to protect Duffy by shutting down an audit of his expenses. Wright is quoted saying, we have to do this in a way that does not lead to the Chinese water torture of new facts in the public domain that the PM does not want. In another email, as the deal was being negotiated by Harper's lawyer and Duffy's lawyer, Wright says, I do want to speak to the PM before everything is considered final. Then, one hour later, he says, we are good to go from the PM. What did the Prime Minister approve during that hour? The investigator says he is not aware of any evidence that the Prime Minister was involved in the repayment or reimbursement of money to Senator Duffy or his lawyer. Good to go. With what? Good to go with Mr. Duffy repaying his own expenses. As Still, the RCMP's affidavit alleges a crime. It says Wright bribed Duffy, and Duffy accepted the bribe to do what the PMO wanted, pay the money and keep quiet about it. Therefore, it says both have committed bribery, frauds on the government, and breach of trust. In a statement, Wright denied it. My intention was always to secure repayment of funds owed to taxpayers. I acted within the scope of my duties and remained confident that my actions were lawful. But Wright is not the only one under fire. I made it absolutely clear to Nigel Wright the top Tory fundraiser, Senator Irving Gerstein, told the party convention that he never considered paying Duffy's expenses, but the affidavit says he did until the bill got too high. So why is Senator Irving Gerstein a member of the Conservative caucus? In fact, why is he even a senator at all? The Prime Minister did not take that question. Open and honest government, Mr. Speaker. That's what they can always rely on for conservatives, Mr. Speaker. But Mulcair did get Harper on his feet. Did the Prime Minister ask Nigel Wright what personal assistance he had given to Mike Duffy, yes or no? He did not tell the Prime Minister of his eventual personal decision to pay the $90,000 to Senator Duffy. He keeps avoiding the clear question as to whether or not he knew. Oh, the right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, it is in black and white that I did not know. The Maybe. What the affidavit says is, quote, the details of what Wright discussed with the Prime Minister are not contained in the emails. I have seen no evidence to suggest the Prime Minister was involved in the minutia of those matters. So, no proof that Harper knew, which isn't quite the same as saying there's proof that he didn't know. But the RCMP says plenty of people around him did know. His former chief of staff, his current chief of staff, Ray Novak, his lawyer, Benjamin Perrin, his finance chairman, Irving Gerstein. So this could still get worse, Peter. All right, Terry. Thank you. Terry Malewski in Ottawa tonight.